was feeling good until about five minutes ago. I'm sitting here at work. I'm here in Sacramento, California. Um, I am a security officer for a very, very large company. I had three truck drivers come out to get to their cars, and they're pissed. So, of course, you know, I see these guys every day. I walk up. I'm like, what's up, guys? And they tell me that they're being sent home today. And they do not know when they're coming back in. Because apparently the company who they work for, our client, has just let them know that they do not have enough supplies to distribute out to the grocery stores. I was like, what do you mean y'all don't have enough supplies to distribute to the grocery stores? What they were told by their bosses today, our client, that due to unforeseen circumstances, there has been a massive shortage and it has happened very fast. Like, they knew it was here, but they didn't know it was going to happen this fast. And apparently, one of the big bosses was crying. That's what the truck driver told me. Very upset. Um, I guess the panic is real now because the company, my client that we're working for, that's, that's their hustle. I mean, they distribute food products to Safeway, Chevron stations, AMPMs. Every kind of grocery store you could think of. Anything that has snacks. This is a situation. Three whole people got sent home. And so I asked one of the drivers, I was like, well, how long is your, what, what kind of route do you have? He was like, I got all grocery stores. It's beginning, guys. Don't worry about who's twerking. Don't worry about who's sleeping with who. Don't worry about Roe versus Wade. Don't worry about all that bullshit. What y'all need to worry about is y'all community and your family. Get it together. Get in your lane because it's about to go down. That's all I'm saying. Heads up. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations are there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant Malachiah. All right, coming in. All right, with another lesson today. And, uh, you know, just scrolling through and, um, the brother's page, uh, Arrows of Indignation, 144, uh, he had just posted it, okay? And I was also going to different articles looking at the uh, the, euthan the euthanization of the uh, cattle, all right? You're seeing that the cattle's uh, also uh, supposedly, all right, of how Esau has it, to where these animals are dying from off extreme uh, heat measures, okay? And all this is being done purposely, Okay? The prophets have been out on the scenes, on the highways and hedges, giving, you know, the flock the warning, all right, to take heed in the times that we're in, to be more serious, to be more uh, 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 serious-minded, okay, to put off the things of the flesh, all right, and to walk more into the spirit, all right, to be uh, 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 to be uh, circumspect. Um, since I'm speaking on that, let's get that right quick. Because these times are about to get real evil out here. 
All right, you just seen a couple of days ago. You just had a CERN, okay? Just we don't know what 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 was going on, but we know that it's something behind the scenes. All right, you look at over there. I believe it was South or North Dakota. How the skies is turning green, okay? You're seeing the people. They just they're, 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 the the spirits are the a hey, the things that they that these uh elites these Edomites or what uh, what they're trying to do, okay? These things are coming into play. Soon we're gonna start seeing people having apparitions, okay? And still speaking on this video, all right? The famine, all right? More earthquakes, okay? We're getting ready to see some things that's getting ready to come upon this earth, okay? And it's all gonna be by the doing of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Nothing gets sanctioned to be done without Him, all right? Everything is according to His will. This is the book of Ephesians 5, verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. All right, so this is the time to be wise, okay? To be uh, meditative in, in, in spirit, meditative in, in on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, meditative in the prophecies and in, in this truth, okay? To put away the, the, the things that is of this world, this life, because, hey, this, these, like the scripture says, uh, the, uh, this world passes away. Okay, like the, the woman said in the video, it's not the time to be worrying about who's sleeping with who, who's uh, who's twerking, and you know so on and so forth. All right, what what's going on next week? What's the move for the weekend? All that shit is played out, man. Okay, we're on the rise of the famine. The famine has already been into play, like I just read in Habakkuk two. All right, the vision was yet for an appointed time, but now we are in that time. You know, I work for a major grocery, uh, uh, a food chain, all right, here where I work at, and hey, they've been cutting hours, okay? Have, we haven't been seeing things come in, all right? The last thing was what, around what, the, uh, the 4th of July, that's when it was real busy, but now shortly after that, it slowed down tremendously. Okay, people trying to find and go to different warehouses to try to hurry up and try to catch up the time at least to see if they can get 40 hours. All right, but they're sending people home. Okay, this is just the start of it. We'll see like how the months play out. They always say around the summertime it usually slows down, but we're on the rise of a famine. Okay, let's get that. All right, the scripture says, all right, suddenly, all right, that these things is going to come. The woman even mentioned it, okay? People being pissed, uh, uh, what, truck drivers not being able to get their, um, I guess, to get their roots, all right, to go and make money, all right? So, hey, the world is being squeezed on every side. This is the book of Second Ezra 6 and verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear on sown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. All right, so when something is found empty, it's demolished, it's, 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 it's void, it's, it's, it's all out, okay? You're not gonna be able to, uh, 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 to, to, to take anything up. These big full storehouses are gonna be suddenly found to be empty, all right, without anything, okay? We talked about this Wednesday, me and a couple of the other brothers, all right, and he was saying that uh, you know, the harvest last year, okay, we're reaping from all those things from the year prior. But what about next year, okay? Well, th by the end of this month, okay, we're supposed to be reaping off the benefits of this year. But if you see how all these things is happening, the, the cattle being euthanized, all this is all catching up to itself, all right? So, hey, Lord willing, we see by... The beginning of next year or by the end of this year that famine truly hits all right because it's all gonna catch okay this is like a domino effect and you see it that momentum is, is coming it's quickly it's coming very quickly okay it's gonna catch these people like a thief in the night as the scripture says all right right here what verse 22 it says and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty there's not gonna be nothing coming in and coming out of it Okay, because it's gonna all these things that's inside the storehouses is gonna be what it's gonna be depleted out into the stores and what and guess what if nothing is coming in, 
those storehouses that's keeping all these food, these big warehouses, is just showing you that what? This scripture is getting ready to come to play real soon. Okay, you may see the uh, in certain uh, stores it may look full. Okay, yeah, certain places in the warehouses may look full for right now, but soon these things is going to be found empty. Okay, because all these things have to catch up. Okay, the, like I was going into earlier, the euthanization of the cattle. Okay, those big uh, plants uh, being burned down, planes crashing into them. Okay, the animals dying of overheat. Them killing over what, 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 millions of chickens. Okay, soon they're going to probably say that it's going to be something wrong with the meat. that They have to throw out tons and millions of it. And they've been doing this over a course of years. Okay, and it's going to catch everyone like a thief in the night. So it's the time to what? All right, to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, let's get uh, one more and then. Because we in that time, man, to, to, hey, to measure the times that we in, man. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 1. Okay, and this is uh, Ezra, and he's speaking. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So this is the angel speaking unto, uh, unto Ezra, okay, telling him what to measure the times diligently, okay, showing you that what? In the future, okay, that this is the time that the highest is going to begin to visit the world which he has made, all right? And we're starting to see these things, and these things are amping up more and more. Verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, we just had, what, a couple, what, a week, a couple weeks ago, that earthquake that happened over there in the Middle East, we got the uproars of the people, you see it. Even over there, I believe it's, what, in UK right now, all right, hey, uh, hey, it's, hey, the Lord having these people, the uproar, all right, you're having different parts of the world, all right, the uproars of the people are in the world. It says, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning. Oh, it's a lot. Verse 4. It says, then shalt thou under well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay? So these things were spoken of from the very beginning. Okay? You can't hide. You can't run away from it. Okay? And this is the time that we're getting ready to see the Lord begin to put his hand upon this earth okay and he's doing it also by the way of his left hand his sword he's using Esau Edom to bring these things into play okay uh, it's the book of Romans 13 and 11 it says and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep okay so it's the time to awake out of sleep it's the time to pay attention all right look at everything you know, I've been getting into, uh, you know, stocks, looking at things. And you look at the charts. You can see this is the uh, the euro and the Canadian dollar. Okay, you got uh, the um, uh, the U.S. And the, uh, and the euro, all right, which is what one of the most traded uh, currencies. And you can see, all right, everything. You see things in the red, but you see some things that are in the green. But here, this is a course over, what, a couple days. Okay, from what, July from what from June all right going into July all the way until today all right you can see what the it's dropping the currencies are dropping all right it's all being manipulated all right by the news the media different articles and people are seeing it and they hey, they they trying to cash out okay so showing you that what hey this place is is, is on its way down this is that's just only one currency you got to look at the rest of the other different currencies around the world all right, so this is the time to wake up out of sleep. This is not the time to be into the world. The Lord has shown us plenty of signs, okay, to awake out of sleep. But it's only going to be the elect that's going to wake out, okay? It says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, okay? 
our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Okay? It's going to catch everyone like a thief in the night. Okay? The salvation is so close, so near. Okay? As we see these things, these signs, okay? The things of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has been telling us, all right? All right, through the prophets, all right, from starting from our apostles and elders, all right, all the way on down, okay? They've been telling us these things over the years, okay? Just like we read earlier in Habakkuk 2, all right? For the vision was yet for an appointed time, all right? But now it is that time, okay? Wait for it, it shall surely come. And we are in that time to where we're getting ready to see these things come, all right? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, edifying to you, Achim and Akwathim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hope for elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow Sabrina Malakaya. Shalom.